Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Soul Reaver. I'm your host, Game of Darius. Last we left off, uh, Razael's mind was getting a little bit maddened by the various glimpses into time, into the past, and possibly the present, thinking that maybe it's just a giant ruse that Cain had came up with. Uh, let's see if it's fact or fiction. Oh, that's a... At last. I must say I'm disappointed in your progress. I imagined you'd be here sooner. Tell me, did it trouble you to murder your brothers? Did it trouble you when you ordered me into the abyss? No. I had faith in you. In your ability to hate. In your self-righteous indignation. Lies. You cannot have foreseen all of this. Eternity is relentless, Raziel. When I first stole into this chamber centuries ago, I did not fathom the true power of knowledge. To know the future, Raziel. To see its paths and streams tracing out into the infinite. As a man, I could never have contained such forbidden truths. But each of us is so much more than we once were. Gazing out across the plains of possibility, do you not feel with all your soul how we have become like gods? And as such, are we not indivisible? As long as a single one of us stands, we are legion. And that is why, when I must sacrifice my children to the void, I can do so with a clear heart. Very poetic, Cain. But in the end, you offer no more than a convenient rationalization for your crimes. These chambers offer insight for those patient enough to look. In your haste to find me, perhaps you have not gazed deeply enough. Our futures are predestined. Mobius foretold mine a millennium ago. We each play out the parts fate has written for us. We are compelled ineluctably down preordained paths. Free will is an illusion. I have been to the tomb of Seraphan Cain. Your dirty secret is exposed. How could you transform a Seraphan priest into a vampire? How could I not? One must keep his friends close, Raziel, and his enemies even closer. Can you grasp the absurd beauty of the paradox? We are the same. Seraphan and vampire. With our holy wars, our obsession with Nosgoth's domination, who better to serve me than those whose passion transcends all notions of good and evil? I will not applaud your clever blasphemy. The Seraphan were saviors, defending Nosgoth from the corruption that we represent. My eyes are opened, Cain. I find no nobility in the unlife you rudely forced on my unwilling corpse. You may have uncovered your past, but you know nothing of it. You think the Seraphan were noble? Altruistic? <laughs> Don't be simple. Their agenda was the same as ours. You are lost in a maze of moral relativism, Cain. These apparitions and portents. What game are you playing now? Destiny is a game, is it not? And now, you await my latest move. Ah, shit. Yep. Ah, okay. I see your game. I find it annoying. Yeah, it's the same thing where I gotta do before. Except this time I have the Wraith Blade.
Don't much like this device. Can I break it? Didn't think I missed him that time, but all right. Hmm. Seeing whether or not there's something I had to do with those things, but I don't think I can. Where are you gone? God damn it. Damn it, where'd he go? Frick. Oh, there he is. Oh, God damn it. All right, so now he's teleporting all the way up there. Pretty much have to make a crap shoot which one it is. Ah, dang it. Not this one, damn it. Was relatively close. Nope. Not the door. Ah, went the wrong direction. Sounded like this way. Son of a bitch. I'm being deceived by my own goddamn headphones. You nearly had me, Raziel. But this is not where or how it ends. Fate promises more twists before this drama unfolds completely. <laughs> Be warned, Raziel. Once you cross this threshold, you are beyond my influence. Raziel, Redeemer and Destroyer, Pawn and Messiah, welcome, time span soul. Welcome to your destiny. Where time is but a loop. A loose stitch in the universal cloth. A streamer might seize upon a chance, a fatal slip, and plunge the fate of planets into chaos. Sons of bitches. Ah, oh, to be continued. I thought it was going to have a little bit less of a cliffhanger than the most obvious of cliffhangers. God damn it. Mmm. I mean, come on. There's like three other games after this one. Well, two other. So I knew that the story was going to continue. I didn't think it was going to continue as a to, to be continued sort of a thing. Ah, oh, dang it. Damn you. I really like this game. I really do. Um, my only real problems with it were the platforming. It was super janky. And... 
combat was kind of weak, I won't lie. Uh, there was, there was very little use in the glyphs uh, in the boss fights. The boss fights are almost glorified puzzles themselves. Whereas all the other fights where it's like, if you get hit, your one weapon, your one more reliable weapon is just gone. And then you have to hope that there's something environmental that you can kill beasts with or pick up a weapon. Um, the puzzles themselves were great when you have all the pieces. Okay, it was Elder God. For some reason, I keep on th kept on thinking it was Morpheus. Morph wait. Mo no. Morbius. That was it. But yeah, um... All the puzzles I really did like when I actually had all the pieces. Otherwise, they were really annoying to try to get through. Because then they hit away pieces. Like, oh... The stone glyph, it requires one more piece. Where's this piece? Where the hell is this piece? And it just so happens to be outside of the room where the puzzle takes place on a ledge that's just out of the normal line of sight. Same thing with that uh, other pathway that I needed to do the rest of the, um, which one? The ruined city, I think. Like, that was... That was a special amount of annoying. And there was just a lot of stuff that was... Hidden. Just outside of the fog of the game itself. Where it was just... Mm, like, um... Nup Raptor's Retreat. The... I couldn't see the ledge immediately off to the left because it was, you know... Off to the left. And I'm trying to think of all the music, but I really... Oh, this is sweet. I, I want to say the music was good, but it's definitely not memorable. There's no, the, It's more there for the atmosphere, and that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying that it's not going to be one of those things where it's like, I can, you know, hum the tunes off the top of my head. Uh, boss fights were pretty cool. They were, again, they were more puzzles than they were boss fights. Um, and dare I say, the ending is kind of lackluster, I guess. I know that it's pretty much just a giant setup for the next Soul Reaver game. But at the same time, it was one of those, yeah, pumped up, I'm all super powered and ready to take on... Ready to take on Kane. I have all I've found all the secrets. And I'm ready to kick his ass. And then you get there. And it's pretty much the same thing as the first Kane fight. Except now there's tears, and oh by the way, here's a health regenerative thing in the middle of the room. That that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um it felt less like a challenge and more like Oh, here's this one last chore for you to do. But all in all, the rest of it is fantastic. I really... I've not delved, like, at all into uh, Soul Reaver 2 or Blood Omen 2. But I really do hope that they bring back a lot of the OG voice actors from this game. Um, is there a secret cutscene? Nope. Just dumping right back to the... To the start screen. Alright. Well, yeah. It was definitely a fun game. It's It's got its flaws. Every game has its flaws. But I think for the some of its parts, this was a fun time. Uh, the platforming was clunky. Uh, pretty much just jumping onto another platform and still holding the forward button dooms any platforming capabilities. And... The only other thing I can think of is, like, right here, it shows in the demo. Uh, some of the walls look incredibly samey. So you can't really say, oh, hey, that wall is the one I can climb on top of, or stuff like that. And, again, most of the time when it comes to the puzzles, uh, any time that it took me more than 
what one would consider a reasonable amount of time to beat. And I'm just going to go to that so it doesn't keep on looping. Uh, any time where it comes to a reasonable, more than a reasonable amount of time to beat, it was purely me being a complete idiot and not seeing, like, one thing or the game legitimately hiding one of the answers, quote-unquote, uh, just, just out of sight. And had this a little bit more detail, I swear that a lot of these, uh, a lot of the gripes that I have with, oh, I couldn't see that door, or, oh, I completely messed that passageway, could have been fixed with just a little bit more detail and a little bit more variation in the background. Because, let's face it, a lot of this game was just gray on gray. Uh, save for some of the more colorful locations. Also of note, uh, the PlayStation 1 version of this game, when you're on this screen, the faces on here will actually, like, twist and distort in corrupted fashions, like they're turning into vampires. It's a really nice detail. Other than that, though, I really can't tell you the difference between this and the PlayStation 1 version. I am glad I played this one, simply because it looks fantastic. Uh, a lot crisper, a lot cleaner. And this is coming from me, who has a little HD adapter for both his Dreamcast and his PlayStation 2. I'm not going to jump right into Soul Reaver 2. Um, mostly because I have other plans for October. Some of them I regret. I'm already regretting them. I've not even begun to play them, and I'm already regretting them. <laughs> uh, this was fun, though. I, I had a really good time. And hopefully the rest of the month will go relatively smoothly. And not end with me uh, shitting myself in the middle of a Let's Play or something. Thank you, everyone, so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. It was fun. Uh, a lot of gripes that I had with in the middle of the gameplay were just kind of erased once the, you know, gripes were dealt with. If you if you want to delve into the Soul Reaver series, I suggest doing so. I believe Soul Reaver is available on the PlayStation 3 store. And I know it's on Steam. I probably could have played it on Steam, but then it would just been a lot of... Meh. Matter of fact, I'm going to load the game just so that there's a little bit of noise. Where does it load me from? 29. I have all the glyphs. All right, we're good. But yeah, thank you everyone so very much for watching. If you guys like this series, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff really helps out the channel. Um, I have both a Patreon and a Streamlabs link down in the description below. If you if you feel a little bit generous and want to help me build the channel further, uh, I am currently looking to upgrade my hardware a little bit better. My computer is like seven years old at this point. I feel like it's about to fall apart. Like, I'm just looking at it and I'm just kind of expecting it to just crumble into a billion pieces. Every little bit helps. It goes right directly back to the channel, whether it's through hardware, software, and anything like that. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next Let's Play. Take care. Cheers.